Hi, this is Patrick Everson for Covers.com, and I'm coming to you from the Mirage Sportsbook on the Las Vegas Strip. Pleased to be joined once again by Jeff Stoneback, manager of this great book. And Jeff, over the weekend, we had the Preakness second leg of the Triple Crown. Cloud Computing comes up with a nice victory. Always dreaming the favorite and the Derby winner ends up finishing a distant eighth. Really a surprise there. So you've got different winners of the Derby, and the Preakness, so you have no Triple Crown in effect for the Belmont. How does that affect things on your side of the counter? Unfortunately, it's not good. Uh, <laughs> um, we'd like a, you know, a, a Triple Crown. It brings more of the casual race fan in. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a hard thing to do. There's been one uh, Triple Crown winner in the last 37 years. Right. Uh, now that there is no Triple Crown, that casual fan will probably be uh, not as interested in the race, and the handle will go down. So we're always rooting for that. It's a winner of the Derby and the to win the Preakness, so we have that shot. No, the atmosphere inside the sports book. If you get to, if you just get to that Belmont Saturday with one horse having won those first two legs of the Triple Crown, the atmosphere is incredible. So it definitely takes away from that. It's definitely unfortunate. Looking ahead to the Belmont, who do you think is going to be the favorite there? Well, I was uh, reading earlier today, uh, Cloud Computing and Always Dreaming. Uh, they may not start in the race, mm -hmm. so that would probably make Classic Empire, who looks like he'll go your favorite. Mm -hmm. And then also you've got. Uh, um, looking at Lee and uh, also uh, who finished uh, fourth mm -hmm. and then a senior investment who finished third looks like they'll be going too so probably be classic empire uh, obviously the Preakness winner if he does go in there will be right. one of the favorites too but if he doesn't classic empire should be the favorite all right and definitely a little shake up in the field like Jeff said may not have cloud computing or always dreaming winners of the first two legs in that field in three weeks time for the Belmont wrapping up the Triple Crown. So there you have it, a little look at the final leg of the Triple Crown, the Belmont, and a little look at the, uh, a little recap of what's gone on the last couple of weeks here. Unfortunately, we don't have a Triple Crown winner, but still should have a good feel for the Belmont. Thanks to Jeff for his insights. As always, for Covers.com, I'm Patrick Everson. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a follow on Twitter, at Covers.